Good morning, my name is Walid Saleh. I'm a professor of Islamic studies from the University of Toronto. And I'm here a senior research fellow at NYU, the Institute. In a nutshell, it's an attempt to write an introduction and a historical sketch of the discipline of Quranic commentaries. And soon enough, I realized that the field is just beginning. And to write that introduction means you have to be at the end of your career. So the second best thing I said, I, let, I said, let me start writing articles that fills the gaps that I think uh, I, I need to be discussed. So the, the, so the book is really almost more than a decade in the process in which I have been writing individual aspects of it to try to reach to it. Uh, and that's how the, the project was conceived. So the, uh, the big question was, um, uh, First historical, why in this moment, in like the modern moment, are Muslims very interested in a discipline that was historically uh, marginal? And then the second thing was a theological discipline that defined what Muslims believed uh, the world functioned about God. So these were two of the main pillars that really, intellectual pillars that defined Islamic civilization. One of the main problems is um, uh, printing came to the Middle East very late, so early 19th century. So 1840, for example, is the first date in which first Quran commentary was printed in the Islamic world. It was printed in Istanbul. Uh, and then Cairo started printing. So you have almost 1,300 years of uh, manuscript culture. So one of the main reasons why it took me this long to, to reach this point is uh, to survey manuscripts. And in the examples that I sent to you, I, I give uh, pictures of manuscripts and pictures of books as they're edited. Uh, this transition between manuscripts to book is a fundamental aspect uh, of the problem that I face in writing a history of the genre. Uh, and I think that's really was one of the main um, problems that I have to face, I have to contend with two things. That there's um, printed books that are available, but they're not the whole story. There's a uh, massive archival material that you have to look at. And that's how what I've been doing, is uh, traveling to Istanbul, Cairo, uh, uh, Germany in Berlin, uh, Chester Beatty in Dublin, and having a look at Princeton and collecting material to look at the, the resources that we have that gives us a better picture of the history. Uh, that was one of the main uh, like problems that I have to solve. Now, the second one was really, um, has to do with our own outlook as intellectuals. So then you, you could say that like, um, it moved from, there were two major centers. There was uh, the, what we would call um, uh, the, uh, the, the Central Asian uh, lands, which would be like uh, what is Iran now, uh, the Central uh, uh, Asian republics of uh, the ex-Soviet Union. This, these areas from, from basically uh, all Eastern Iran, Tashkent, up to uh, all this area. And then there was Cairo uh, up till the 14th century. And then the Ottoman realm becomes very important. So you have three major centers of gloss writing. And they were all dependent on each other. And each one inherited what the others have written. So in a sense, what happened in Central Asia will, be, will move to Cairo. And then what happened in Cairo would move to Istanbul. And, uh, and these were the main centers of gloss writing. Uh, and, and, uh, and this is really what defined how Muslims uh, received the Quran. Now the issue of who was printing it in the 19th and 20th century becomes very interesting. So up till 1924, it was Istanbul and Cairo. And then after that, it was only Cairo. Uh, uh, but then the gloss printing stopped completely by 1930. And it's interesting that the Gulf region now has become a central uh, area of uh, uh, reproducing or printing the, the, the literature on the gloss. And the picture I send you 
shows uh, one of the early, uh, one of the newest gloss printing that has happened in a hundred years, and it was published here in the Emirat. Last year, when I, when I was uh, planning for my sabbatical, um, I really wanted to be in the in the region, but there wasn't, in a sense, there wasn't a place really to go. But then all of a sudden, uh, I realized that NYU is here, and that this became the natural place to come. There's uh, like a lot of advantages. First of all, you're in the area. Second, you have complete ad direct access to books. So, for example, uh, this this week. I, uh, through the internet, I called a book dealer in Dubai and I told him I needed this book. And yesterday it came to me, it's a five volume uh, book. It's inaccessible, uh, not because it's not available, but the issue of, uh, of book distribution is uh, problematic in the, in the Arab world. But I got it in like no time and now that's accessible. But, and many others like that, that's one thing. The other thing is that I'm close by to universities and I can, uh, in a sense, go to the library myself and inspect the dissertations, which makes, uh, in a sense, life much easier. So these two elements, really, the being in the region, accessibility of books, and also accessibility of uh, university libraries makes uh, my work much, uh, uh, much possible. So I actually have already put an advertisement for a research assistant, and I have, actually, I was surprised that I, qu I have almost five applicants and I was intending to take one but now I'm going to take two or three and they were going to, I already know what we're going to be working on, we're going to be working on manuscripts and editions so basically yes I, I'm, I'm very much looking forward to it. I already have like met almost um, uh, all the colleagues I, I, I knew about so uh, there is especially in the Arab crossroads uh, and in the modern uh, Arabic library there uh, are quite a few, and then also there's colleagues visiting from, uh, from NYU that I've met with. So the uh, Professor uh, Maurice Paparantz, and then uh, Professor Justin uh, 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 Stern, right? And uh, so that I've uh, met with them. Yeah. This is um, an introduction to a very rich literature and it's, in a sense, a first attempt at being comprehensive, and um, it really shows the richness of a literature that we always thought was rich, but it's rich beyond really what we expect. And in a sense, it, it will be a first attempt at a long journey. I'm actually very happy to be here, and I, w I really want to say that um, this, this has proven to be like a, a lucky move to it. Uh, to, to NYU Abu Dhabi and I'm very much, uh, I'm very productive, the, the facilities are wonderful and wonderful colleagues.